DRS has two lines of products for in this SIGIN uh, cyber and EW capability. We have a dismounted capability and we have a mounted capability. We've been investing uh, heavily in both of those. Uh, on the dismounted side, we have reduced significantly the, the size, weight, and power of uh, what a soldier has to carry in order to, to uh, do their uh, uh, EW operations. Uh, we have electronic attack and electronic surveillance capability. We now have, for, in the, for, for the first time, in a very small form factor, a full signal recognition package for uh, communication signals as well as uh, UASs. So our dismounted products have the capability to do a signal detection, signal identification, simple uh, low-level voice demods, um, uh, signal recognition, decoding. We can do uh, conventional uh, uh, emitter types as well as modern signal types. Um, and we can also do uh, UAS uh, detection, uh, identification, and uh, jamming. So we have uh, two dismounted uh, products. One is a sensing product. Uh, it's a very low swap, 10 pound payload, a very small uh, antenna head, and uh, it's called Blackstone. And then we have a second uh, product line which we do uh, signal jamming and uh, exploitation with. And that's called Pitbull. When a new capability comes out, a wider band radio, a higher uh, dynamic range radio, uh, something that has a, a faster turnaround time to be able to do cyber operations. When a new threat comes out, somebody innovates a new capability, they make it SOSA compliant, and now I can put that new card into an existing slot, and now my platform has an upgraded capability very quickly. And uh, this is a requirement. We've been involved in the SOSA uh, standards body for uh, several years now and we've been investing heavily to build SOSA compliant cards for all the tri-services.